Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I want to answer the question of whether or not should get a reference or normal book uh, for C Sharp. I think this is, this is something I've talked about a, a few times, but this is a, a common question. Obviously, this doesn't just apply to C Sharp, but to learning any programming language. And a lot of people screw this up. So I'll, I'll tell you my opinion on that in a second, but before I do, I want to tell you about a sponsor that we have at Simple Programmer, which is Hire.com. They are pretty damn awesome. If you haven't heard of them by now, go to Hire.com for just Simple Programmer, and I'll tell you what they do. They basically make the job search a lot easier for you. You basically just put one application there into their system, and they will hook you up with some big name employers who will reach out to you and give you interview requests. That really limits a lot of the going back and forth and the shooting our resumes and all of this kind of stuff that you don't like in the job search. Now, it is a system that is, how can I put this? It is curated, so not everyone is gonna get in, but that's okay, but you might as well check them out. Just go to hire.com for a simple programmer. If you use that link, you will get $2,000 if you get a job through them instead of 1,000, pretty simple. All right, and painless. <laughs> and thank you, hire.com, I love those guys. All right. So, reference or normal book in C Sharp. So this question is from Marcos, and he says, should I get a reference book or a normal book for C Sharp? I'm an intermediate level coder, and C Sharp is not my main language. I'm learning from Pluralsight's path of 60 hours, and it's packed with useful information. If you're not sure about Pluralsight, what is he talking about, you can check out my videos on Pluralsight. I've done 55 courses there. Uh, they're, they're pretty awesome, a good way to learn. Uh, am, I, am I saying that just because I did courses there? No, <laughs> but am I saying that, am I telling you about it because I have courses there? Yes, so go check them out and check out my courses. I don't have C Sharp courses, by the way, so, uh, you know, but I think Scott Allen does and he's a pretty awesome guy. All right, so, <laughs> what does he say? I'm learning from Pluralsight Path of 60 hours and it's packed with useful information, so I do not want a beginner's book which I will read and already know what it's trying to teach me. Okay, so, so here, here's a couple of things here. I have a playlist, I believe, or I have a video on my top 10 C-sharp books. Check that out. That's, that's the advice I would give you first. But I want to talk about, in general, this, this idea of should you buy a reference book for learning a programming language or, or what kind of book? What, how should you look for a programming language book? This is probably the, the more general, the higher level type of principle behind this. So here's, here's what I would say about this. Okay. You may want to have a reference book, but you don't want to buy and learn from a reference book. I've done this before. I've made the mistake. I bought this <laughs> reference book on JavaScript. What was it called? It was like JavaScript, the complete reference manual or something like that, or the ultimate Java. I, I don't remember. It was, it was a, a O'Reilly book with, a, I can't remember what was on the cover, some animal. But I went through that whole thing, and I found myself at the end of the book reading server-side JavaScript. This was back before Node and stuff, and I was like, why am I reading this? <laughs> I should, this is not help, I'm never going to use this. Why am I reading this, okay? And I didn't really retain information from before. So reference books don't make a lot of sense for learning things. What type of book makes sense for learning things? So there's, a, there's an approach that I use for learning you, you'll see a system that I used to teach is, and it's because what I found most effective to learn, um, I also have a course on 10 steps to learn anything quickly, which you might want to check out if you, you want to really go in depth with self doing this system. I'm, I'm gonna teach you in general how, how it kind of works, the, the, the way that I teach, which is a little bit different than the way that I, I teach myself for, for learning. The 10 steps program would, would teach you that. But essentially, it goes to this. It, it, it's like this, right? What I wanna do, and you, you'll see this in my courses, is I wanna take you and I wanna, I wanna introduce some concepts to you, okay? And then I want you to use Use those concepts in creating something real, okay? So that's that's how I teach. You can see my courses where I teach a programming language. I've done, I think on Pluralsight, I did uh, programming language uh, teaching Java, Java 1 and Java 2. I taught Go, Lua, Dart. I'm trying to think what other full programming languages. Objective-C, that one I didn't, isn't as good. That's a damn hard language. I'm trying to think what else. That, that's maybe that's maybe that's it. There might be another language or two that I that I taught. Okay, and you'll see what I do here 
is I don't just say, here's a bunch of stuff, <laughs> or give you a bunch of exercises. What I do is I we start with some very basic concepts, and, and we're building an application the whole time, okay? And what we're, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna like get the tools that we need as we need them, and that helps us to progress. If you look at games, right? If you look at effective game tutorials, I think Halo was good at the, the t tutorial, but you know a lot of games that, that, that work out well, that have good tutorials, what they do is they introduce you to stuff that you need, right, as you progress through the game. So you, you actually need this. They're not like, it's not like 15 minutes of, here's how you do this, and here's how you throw a grenade. And if you ever need to like evacuate the vehicle, you click this button, and this is the move to do a double slashing with the sword. No, it's like, okay, now there's a wall here. Ah, if you push up and B, you'll throw a bomb at the wall. Okay, so you, you get that, you see what I'm saying? And so that's, that's the best way to learn, is to have a problem to overcome the problem. I always say that whenever you want to learn something, you want to say, I want to learn X so I can do Y. If you don't have the do Y, it's very hard to learn the X and it's hard to know what the X is or how valuable it is. When you read a reference manual, you, you don't get that. So, so what is the approach that you should take or what should you be looking for in general is that you want to progressively learn things as you're building something real that actually solves the problems and you're getting the tools as you need them. That's a natural progression rather than just being dumped a lot of information. Okay, so what kind of books should you look for? You should look for books that are example-based books that actually have real projects that you're building and going along with and you're introducing the concepts that you need to make it to the next step in building that project. There's a lot of books like that uh, you, you, you can find those out there. I think that, so if you're looking for descriptions of books, you wanna find project-based books that, that actually take you through projects and, and progress, like I said, like that. And, and that's gonna be a lot better. So look for books like that, but that's generally what you should be looking at. If you want to self-study, if you're trying to learn things on your own and you w want some help on this, I've develop, developed a system to learn things quickly. Okay, I've talked about it a few times here, but you can check it out. Just go to this site here and you can find my 10 steps to learn anything quickly course has helped a lot of people to learn quickly. It's how I did the 55 plus like courses and learn languages like Go and Dart and Lua in a matter of weeks and taught courses on them in that time as well. Uh, it's because the system works, right? And it's sort of based on this idea. It's, it goes into a little bit more depth, but but there, there you go. All right, I hope you found this useful. Uh, definitely, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button below and uh, you'll get all the videos that I make here. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.